Hey, what's up guys? Working on the 2013 Ford Focus ST. Gonna be installing a new cold air intake. So the intake I'm gonna be throwing on this is a InGen Technology, and it's gonna be part number SP9001P. And as you can see, this is for the 2013 through 2014. If you guys have a 2015 and up, it's gonna be a little bit different, but pretty much the same concept on installing it. And you can see this is the polished version. Um, I believe they have a blue, a red, and then also a black one. Um, I'll put links in the description uh, for this one here. But if we take a look, go ahead and open this up. You can see it includes the uh, air filter, all that, all your tubing. Um, yeah, pretty much everything you need to install it. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and remove this uh, engine cover. This will just uh, kind of snap off of here. So just lift up on both sides. And back here, you can see it just kind of pops off of these little uh, ball things here. Next, you're going to unplug this temperature sensor here. So just go ahead and use your thumb here. You can see that tab lifts off and then just pull off. Next, we need to loosen up this hose clamp here, um, but to get better access to the uh, nut down there, we can go ahead and uh, take off this battery cover here. And this just kind of unsnaps from the sides and then just slide it out like that. And then that hose clamp's kind of hard to see, but you can see the eight millimeter right there. So take an extension, get down in there, and let's go ahead and loosen that up. be good right there next you're going to go ahead and locate this eight millimeter screw right here go ahead and pull that one off next locate this hose clamp here let's go ahead and loosen that and this one's actually going to be a seven millimeter so go ahead and loosen that one Next, we're gonna remove this whole tube here. So you can just go ahead and pull this out like that. And then you should be able to pop this off right there like that. Next, go ahead and undo your snorkel here. So you can see you got this little kind of clip here. Pull out on that, bring this over. Now we're gonna remove the whole factory uh, box here. You can see the lid's missing on this one just to give it a little more air. But this is just gonna pop out of here pretty much. So again, make sure your snorkel's undone there. Get this piece here like that. So then, like I said, this should just pop out of here, just kind of lift up on it. Just like that. You can see it just kind of snaps into these little grommets here. Next, go ahead and undo this eight millimeter bolt here. Next, you're gonna take a 12 millimeter wrench. We're gonna get on this uh, little tab for our uh, engine cover there. And we're gonna go ahead and untwist that off. Just be careful, cause these do break over time, just cause it's plastic. So go ahead and loosen that up. Once you get it broken free, you should be able to just pull this off by hand. Just like that. Next, we need to remove this crankcase breather tube that goes into the backside of the intake tube here. And to get that off, you'll see there's a tab right here but then there's gonna be the same thing on the bottom. So you need to squeeze both of those together and then uh, pull outward. So you can get your hands back in here, squeeze those together and then push off like that. So you can see, give you a closer look at it. So if you squeeze these two together at the same time, it kind of pushes these out and then you're able to free that off of there. So 
So now we need to go ahead and remove uh, the rest of this tube from the turbo down there. And it's kind of hard to access, but if you take a look, so right down in there, you can see right down in there, that's the uh, hose clamp that connects to the turbo there. That's gonna be a seven millimeter. So we need to loosen up that hose clamp so we can get this uh, tube off the turbo there. So I'm just gonna take my socket wrench with the seven millimeter on it, and I'm gonna go down through here to loosen that up. Uh, if you guys are having trouble getting that uh, loosened up and uh, your access isn't the greatest, you can always take off the passenger front wheel there and go through the wheel well, and you got a lot better access to that hose clamp if you can't get it from up above here. So I'm just gonna reach down in here, try to get on that and get that nice and loose. like that so now with that loose we should be able to pull that off so you might need to just kind of twist this towards the passenger side here and then lift up pull this out just kind of turn it if you need to, to pull that off of there so you can see that's all it is down there on the turbo just this hose clamp connects that to the turbo. Next, you're gonna take this Vibra mount that they supply you with, and we're gonna thread that into the uh, top of the vacuum pump here. So go ahead and just thread that in. So it's pretty much tight like that. So next, you're gonna take this uh, heat shield here, and then they give you uh, two pieces of trim here. So this one, this one here, we're gonna stick on this portion of it. So what you wanna do is just kinda get it started on one end. You can see it just kinda, there's an opening here and it just slides into the heat shield there. You're gonna work this around. So you do have to kinda bend it some. But try and get this put into place here. You just want to make sure you get it fully pushed on there. So it should look something like that. So you shouldn't have any extra on top or anything. Then what you're going to do is take this other piece here. And this is going to go on top of this portion here with the logo right there. So just start on one end on that. This one's a lot easier to stick on here. So just kind of like that. Next, grab your heat shield. And this is going to set inside the engine bay here where the old factory one was. And if you notice, you got two ground wires right here. So we're going to use this threaded hole right here uh, to hold down the uh, heat shield. And then it's also going to sit in this uh, spot right here. So if you take the heat shield, like I said, it's going to sit in here like that. But you can see it's going to hit on that ground wire there. So what you do is you're going to take one of these bolts they supply you with and this plastic spacer and then this fender washer. What you want to do is stick your bolt through here first and you can lift up on that. And this spacer is going to go down below that, so that'll lift this area up to clear the uh, ground wire there. So if you take your spacer, along with your fender washer here, just kind of stick that through. Hold that on there like that. Go 
ahead and bring this down into that uh, threaded hole there. Kind of just feel for it, get it kind of started there. You may need to lift this up, get it into this spot here. So just make sure you hold on to that so you don't lose your spacer in that. And then just make sure you can see it's not as easy as it looks. So, or what you can do is get it kind of set like that. I still got hold of the spacer down below here. Get this kind of into position there. Just like that, and then you can go ahead and thread that in there. And let me grab about a 10 millimeter wrench. Take your 10 millimeter, go ahead and tighten that up. Next, we need to uh, go ahead and tighten it up right here. Um, if this isn't loose enough, you can always just loosen this uh, bolt that we just tightened up just to give that a little more wiggle room. That way you can line up that hole there. And then you're gonna take uh, your other bolt along with your fender washer and another fender washer and then this nut. And you're gonna go up through the bottom So come up through here. Try to get that hole lined up here. So get that through like that. Grab your fender washer here. That's gonna go on next. And then your nut. that started on there grab your 10 millimeter I'm also going to grab a 10 millimeter wrench to put on the bottom to keep that from turning and go ahead and get that snug Same with this one, go ahead and tighten that up again. And then you put this piece, if that comes off, you stick that back on there. And then since we're not gonna be using this anymore for the factory intake, you go ahead and just pull this off of there. You can see it just kind of slides off of there like that with those clips. So now we need to get our step tube onto the uh, turbo. So that's gonna be this piece here. And you can see there's a smaller diameter to the larger one so the smaller side is going to go down onto the turbo like that and then if you notice in the kit they give you four hose clamps three of these are going to be the same size they're going to be a little bit bigger and then you'll have one that's going to be a smaller so you want to use this smaller one that's going to go on to here and like i said we're going to get that on the turbo and you want to arrange your hose clamp uh, to where you can get easy access to tighten this up so I'm thinking probably something like that, and we'll go ahead and stick that on down through there. And then these hose clamps are gonna be at eight millimeter. So what I'm gonna do, just kinda get it on there like that, cause you can see there's a pretty big uh, opening here. So just kinda tighten this up a little bit, but don't go too snug to where you can't get it onto the turbo itself. Just take some of the slack out of it. Probably something like that to where it's just barely hanging on there that way we can still slide it on so again not sure how well you guys will be able to see this but let's go ahead and stick this on here and then just be careful too to make sure you don't drop anything down into that turbo if you do make sure you fetch it out of there so get that on there again i'm trying to situate my hose clamp to where it'll be easy to still access it 
So I'm thinking something like that. You can see it kind of popped on there. So then grab your socket wrench, your eight millimeter, and let's go ahead and tighten this on here. Just really hard to get your socket on there. Yeah, of course my wrench is backwards. There we go. So make sure again that's fully on there. Tighten up that hose clamp. like that and then just kind of pull on it make sure that ain't going anywhere next go ahead and remove the other half of this uh, crankcase breather hose so same thing i'm going to squeeze right here and we'll pull it off right there like that and then you're going to take your new intake tube here along with your crankcase breather hose and this is gonna snap into here. So you see you got the lar smaller end, which will go on the crankcase, and then you got the larger end going into the intake tube here. So go ahead and get that pushed on, just like that. Next, we're gonna need to pull out the temp sensor out of the uh, old intake. So use an eight millimeter. Go ahead and pull that off here. It should just pop right out of here just like that then you're gonna take that temp sensor go ahead and uh, make sure that's clean nothing got on that and you're gonna stick this into the, your new tube here of course line up the holes it's gonna go in there like that stick that in there like that take the uh, 10 millimeter bolt they supply you with the smallest one there that's going to go in here take your 10 millimeter go ahead and tighten that up get that nice and snug next you can go ahead and pull off this nut here along with the washer and we'll go ahead and get our uh, tube up in here so again, I went ahead and just kind of tightened one of these hose clamps. I'm going to drop this down on to the uh, reducer here, to the turbo. Kind of get my hose clamp lined up to where I need it. That way we can just go ahead and stick our uh, tube straight in there. And then we'll go ahead and tighten up this hose clamp. So just like removal, I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick this end down in there kind of first. So kind of get this on here and stick it down into the turbo there if you can. And it looks like my hose just kind of fell down, so I'm going to have to bring it up. But fit that into place down there. I can see I'm in there now. Once you get it in there, let's go ahead and turn this. Let me move my camera here. So keep turning this. And if you have to... Uh, move this crankcase breather. You can always just uh, pull it downward. It'll move Keep bringing this over until you get this lined up right here So kind of like that And I think what I'm gonna do is uh, tighten that up first, but let's just go ahead and stick this uh, fender washer And nut on here just to kind of hold that for now and I'll just go finger tight on this. Just kind of something like that. That way we can still kind of move this if we need to. So now let's go ahead and tighten up that hose clamp. So take your eight millimeter, go ahead and tighten up that hose clamp. I'm not sure how well you guys can see this, but I'm gonna go ahead and, if you can, maneuver this to where you want it. I'm just gonna put it even with that other one. 
and then just double check make sure this whole intake tube is down in there because you don't want a boost leak once you get it where you need it go ahead and tighten that up And you can see my wrench wants to turn with it. So you may need to tighten that just a little more by hand if you can. And I just dropped my socket wrench. You can see it's pretty tight down in here, so try not to do that. again here there we go so about right there should be good and then just give it a kind of just pull on this tube just make sure that ain't gonna pop out and that's tight enough that should be good right there Next, you can go ahead and get your uh, this little piece for your engine cover. That's going to thread back into here. And then you're going to take your 12 millimeter wrench and uh, get that tightened back up. It's right there like that. Get your wrench around that. Just get that nice and snug. Again, that's just plastic. It'll break, so don't go too tight. And then grab your 10 millimeter. Go ahead and tighten up this nut here. That snug next you want to get your crankcase breather hose uh, connected back on the crankcase there so it's gonna be hard to reach back here but again just get it snapped on to the uh, valve cover there so you just kind of kind of feel for it Get it pushed into place and then just pull on it. Make sure it ain't going anywhere and it's totally snapped on there. And then just double check on that hose. Like I said, you may have to turn it on the intake tube there. You just don't want that to be pinched because you want that crate case to be able to breathe there. Next, go ahead and take this tube here and we can go ahead and slide this on right here. Just get that around that. that kind of into position here Just something like that so then take the other two hose clamps here and I'm gonna stick them in like that so the engine logo is kind of upward you can just kind of stick these on here if you want for now just kind of something like that Get this tube here, stick this through your hole on your heat shield, and then you get this kind of lined up, and go ahead and try to squeeze that on there. Kind of something like that, and then you can grab your hose clamps here, slide these, get them into position. Probably do something like that, and then like that. And those are gonna be eight millimeters. So go ahead and tighten those down. Try to get them even as much as possible. that then go ahead and take your fresh new filter get your hose clamp on here and let's go ahead and get this on the intake tube might be pretty tight here so you have to 
squeeze it by the fuse box here. Put that on like that. Make sure that's fully on there. Get your hose clamp lined up the way you want it. Take your eight millimeter and tighten that down. And then go ahead and uh, plug in your air temp sensor here. Make sure that clicks and we should be good. And then there is a protective uh, little sticker on this. So you can pull that off, give it a little more flash. And then one last thing, go ahead and get your uh, engine cover back on. Push down on that. And then don't forget to get your uh, battery cover back on here. All right guys, so there's the uh, final product. Uh, looks really good. Went ahead and cleaned up this uh, engine cover as well i think that looks pretty good so now i'll go ahead and give you a quick sound clip of it okay i'll go ahead and start it guys so as you saw that added a lot more sound to the intake you can really hear that turbo now and then uh, hopefully it adds a little more power and a little more torque as well so that's going to do it for the video again this was a 2013 ford focus st went ahead and installed the engine uh cold air intake uh not too bad of a job takes you about maybe an hour or so is all a uh, pretty simple job to do on these cars so Hopefully this video helps you out, and if it does, why don't you subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos. I got quite a few on this car alone, so check those out when you get a chance, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.